Hello my friends, well guys, as we are getting closer to CC10, why not have a sample of what bases we are going to get in CC10? So, here we are, we are going to attack CC10 bases, now after the update is going to be interesting, as you can see, fully upgraded walls, fully upgraded bunkers, a fully potentially upgraded um, mortar and everything. So. It's going to be interesting, we have mercenaries coming out, probably level 20 themselves and they're going to be a little bit complicated. So here's the first part of the base, I don't mind that we have... That's interesting now, with the paratroopers coming out, they look how good they are doing against riots. I like that, it's a good idea, it's an interesting idea I suppose, uh, if you do have your, your, your riots waiting well, if you are waiting to uh, have your riots to actually trigger uh, the traps, those paratroopers are going to actually get rid of them. And this thing that where where the where the veterans come out, he actually wiped a good a good amount of uh, units from my squad. Now. Let's see how good focus fire is against things like this. It is okay, I guess. It didn't really get rid of everything. I was expecting to get rid of that as well. But I suppose fully upgraded walls, different, different story. Here we are. There is another, um, there is another mortar there. A little bit of a silly mistake there. I knew it's not going to reach that far. I don't know why, but it. it's just habit sometimes thinking I'm closer than I actually am. And there we go, we get rid of that mortar. They are extremely dangerous now. So we kind of cleared everything there. We just have one AA that stops us from using all the specials. And we have quite a few. I'm not sure if we're going to be able. We are able to get rid of it quickly. Bombing rundown. Get rid of those mercenaries from experience if you do wait a lot mercenaries will actually wipe off your whole whole squad so that's done the tents get rid of them eventually um, i think i can wait for the tents one missile it wasn't good enough to get rid of the tents wow we need more upgrades guys obviously we need CC 10 first that's the first battle it wasn't absolutely impossible but you could see how strong the walls or the structures and even the units can be at times but we managed to go through quite uh, quite successfully so let's move to the next one first we are going to see what we get and then we move to the next one might be interesting might be might be boom 27 dog tags i like that i like that i do like that now here we is if we can find one that's miracle from our alliance i can see there we go why not but we actually kind of had ah let's go for it rangers full rangers i want to see how strong the rangers are um, the rangers, mercenaries, sorry, I just, just, I got stuck with rangers, because I wanted to say, uh, you can see I replaced the rangers in my squad, uh, is, is a small trick against, uh, chemist bases and mercenary bases as well, I need my veterans to stay alive as much as possible, so I do need the medic, it was... It was trial and error for probably 50 raids until I kind of came up with this. Um, we're going to replace the commando eventually when we get our sharpshooter up and running. It's Look how strong they are. They got rid of my commando in one second. It's, it's ridiculous. It's just one shot each. Obviously, it was loads of them, but still, guys, still, this is impressive. Uh, there we are, struggling to spawn a proper squad for this. I'm going to quickly get rid of that mortar. I should have done it earlier. Just got uh, 
just into a panic mode a little bit because the minute my veterans are gone this becomes a kind of impossible win but bombing run most of the times bombing run is a lifesaver what I'm going to do guys there I'm just going to quickly use my focus fire on the tent that's one once because I wanted no units to come out and the second one is going to kind of wipe off the walls there so that gives my units an access to um, to the mortar and AA which makes makes it easier obviously we're going to get rid of the other tent struggle struggle I'm going to be honest with you it is a struggle because we already lost our veterans um, Thanks to the mercenaries in the back there. That's why I think sharpshooters are going to be quite successful. Only if you manage to get rid of all the mortars in the process. Because um, sharpshooters health is not impressive. But it is. I think they will be good there with the mercenaries. It's going to be a little bit more damage dealt from the back. While your commandos and riots and medics are going to hold the first line uh, it could be an idea not sure about it but as I said it's always trial and error bases are different uh, but you have to kind of choose the best one because if you're doing alliance battles and stuff like that you have to choose the right squad that kind of does it for every single base so far for me this one it is it, doing it, but it's not doing it as good as I want it to, to, to happen. Because you can see, I still lose veterans. Um, I still struggle now and then. If I'm not focused, 100% focused for one second, um, sometimes I just lose it. Oh, there we go. Another level 10 CC10 base straight away. Let's go and have a go at it. Why not? Uh, it was first one there. Now this one could be a little bit more complicated than the other ones and I'm going to tell you why guys because of the bounty hunters uh, those that second where they cannot die it's extremely important when you are against uh, mercenaries because obviously they are in the back there they constantly shoot that could be just enough to get rid of all your riots and then you know what happens when you don't have riots to protect you it's not it doesn't look too complicated but I know it's going to be I have a feeling normally those bases that don't look that complicated they become complicated <laughs> somehow I can see okay I'm going to try to use the the decoy straight away again as I said you mess it up and you are done in CC10 that's that's what I realized I put that decoy it wasn't the right place they uh, obviously didn't bother to get rid of that mortar that mortar now is going to shoot for quite a while until I managed to destroy it oh maybe not maybe not maybe not I didn't actually look oh maybe yes um, I'll have to trigger the two of them if I do that. I feel like it's necessary So all I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of the middle I'm going to get rid of the radio station because that's probably going to have damage and that's when those um, Those commando veterans become a little bit dangerous. I'll have to take it I'll have to accept that that mortar is going to shoot for quite a while and what I'm trying to do is get as close as possible, but you can, when you have loads of, uh, loads of bounty hunters coming out, plus a riot, plus everything, it becomes a little bit tricky. There's the struggle, I expect it, that, that bounty hunter in the corner there is very, very, very smartly placed, it just stops my units from actually shooting. Um, and they can't really get to it that good boom we're going to use the missile we're just trying to get um, their health down now I got the other focus fire I'm going to try to risk it to get to that 
uh, mortar like, again a failure it's me adapting to my new uh, squad before that I would have had the Rangers grenades they would have gone through they would have get rid of that now that's not that's not the case anymore I can't wait to get the bombardier though that's going to be a little bit helpful but it's going to be in a while even if I get it now I will still have to get the fourth skill and all of that well it's something to look forward to I suppose and with a little bit of struggle we still we're still going to win this to the time it's um, it's actually to be honest with you I'm concerned about the time because you have those bounty hunters coming out and they just la it seems like they last forever and then you add all the mercenaries that are constantly shooting it does become quite annoying let's quickly get rid of that even though we are really close to it I'm just not going to risk it to have even more units out there we go we are, we are slowly progressing and that's what I was talking about before when I say after the up update the battles take extremely long and that's not a problem I love a challenge like this but when you farm for alliance raids when you have to do 10 of them instead of taking you 20 minutes 25 minutes now it's nearly close to an hour so it's actually probably an hour so you might lose one you might you know it kind of doubles the time and uh, it becomes a little bit more complicated but guys I hope you enjoyed this video because that's everything for today Leave a like if you can guys, I really appreciate it when you do that, don't forget to subscribe as well, turn the notification on, you'll know when I upload next, and guys, as always, thanks for watching and I will see you next video.